Hello everyone! Radio is the one of the greatest innovation of all time. Without it, nobody knew what was going on in the world. Several scientists contributed in the invention of radio. In general, Guglielmo Marconi considered the first inventor of radio communication. Here are the, some of the amazing facts about radio. The most powerful commercial radio station ever was WLW that had 700 kHz radio wave. In during 1930s, it broadcasted 500 kW radiated power. At night time, it can spread to the half the world. Even people who live in the area which closer to the transmitter could hear the audio in their pots, pans and other metal materials. 13-year-old boy has noticed something in Eastern State Penitentiary Museum that wrong radio on display in recreation of Al Capone's cell. That type of radio wasn't available until 1942 and Capone was imprisoned from 1929-1930. So you can't fool the smart people. The year 1940 in England, there was football playing and suddenly some thick fog had occupied the stadium. Commentator couldn't see anywhere of stadium, but he had to comment the game. So he was told that Germans were listening to radio. If they know about the fog, they might start bombing the area. But commentator did well. He never said about the fog and just commented by the audience behavior. Robin Williams was one of the greatest comedy actors of all time. He played the movie Good Morning Vietnam in 1987. All the lines that he says while radio broadcasting were improvised by himself. The day September 28 in year 2006, Council of Iceland's capital Reykjavik and some neighboring cities agreed to turn off all city lights in the capital area for half an hour. Because some famous astronomer was talking about the stars and constellations on national radio. The first time the Japanese people heard the emperor's voice on the radio was when he announced Japan's surrender in World War II. The number one most played song on the US radio of the 2000s decade was How You Remind Me by Nickelback. It was played on the radio over 1.2 million times. The Eiffel Tower was starting to build in 1887 and completed in 1889. After 20 years, it was supposed to redesign, but didn't happen because military started to using it as a radio tower during World War I. UVB-76 is a mysterious Russian radio signal that has been transmitting continuously since 1982. Nobody knows who makes the signal, only that is located near Moscow, makes a buzzing sound 25 times in a minute and every few years will broadcast a string of random names and numbers. The Armed Forces of Colombia commissioned a pop song that included a Morse code message to kidnapped military personnel. 19 people rescued, you're next, don't lose hope, because the kidnappers will let their captives listen to the radio. Massive amounts of birds are killed each year by radio antennas and that changing a static red light to a blinking light can cut the death toll by up to 70%. France banned mentions of Twitter and Facebook on radio on TV as in follow us on Twitter or like us on Facebook because they were considered as promotion and unfair to other sites. 
Several Navajo men joined in United States Army on August in 1942. They were given some special mission that speaking with their language on the radio. And Japanese spies who regularly caught the radio messages but never encrypted message. Because there was no person that can speak the Navajo language in the whole country. The day February 13 is International Radio Day. It's celebrated all around the world. Thank you for watching. See you next time.